Emotions running high this morning in the state capitol as lawmakers question emergency management officials about why it's taken so long to get aid to Hurricane Matthew victims. It was part of a special meeting by the House Committee on Disaster Relief. WNCT's Josh Birch was there and joins us now outside the legislative building with more. Josh. The lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say today was not a time to assign blame, but rather to respond to or remind each other of the responsibility that they had and also to say that lives were still at stake. We need you guys to help us. I'm just ready to move forward. Storm victims and state lawmakers both fed up with just how long they've waited for disaster relief. These are real people with real lives. He's just tired of excuses. 568 days is it's unacceptable. More than 560 days have passed since Hurricane Matthew hit, and still thousands are waiting for help. Just last week, the first check from the Federal Community Planning and Development Disaster Recovery Act was presented to a family in the East a year and a half after the storm. Why it's taking this long to deal with the most basic needs? South Carolina received the money the same time we did. They're so far ahead that I think that we are at the point now that we are going to begin to start to see some real progress. It just took us a long time to get here. Members of the House heard from Michael Sprayberry, the director of the state's emergency management. He explained the reason for the delay was an eight-step process between applying for and receiving funds from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. First have to come in with your documentation, which is a, a, a lot of documentation. If it's an eight-step process, why are we at step one and two, you know, almost two years later? The long process led some in the House to question whether or not change needed to be made at the federal level. It's not about blame, but it is about critically analyzing where the system that is in place possibly failed. We have failed remotely to try to make these people whole, and it's, it's just not right. A representative John Bell also asked Director Sprayberry about the where they go from here, a detailed account of what the recovery efforts look like six months ahead of time. They also asked the director for recommendations that they could make to the federal government about how to better streamline the process for recovery in the future. Live in Raleigh, Josh Birch, Shining Your Side. Thank you, Josh. North Carolina has been approved for more than $236 million in HUD grants, but local municipalities say there are a lot of requirements that must be met that present some risks. There's an eight step process and at this point in time, um, the state has now told local governments that they're willing to take on the responsibility for those eight steps. WNCT reached out to Governor Roy Cooper about funding for disaster relief. A spokesperson in the office sent us a statement saying in part, quote, the administration has worked with the state and federal agencies to distribute nearly $632 million to help Eastern North Carolina recover. It goes on to say they're committed to getting help to those in need.